Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Mom Helen, your pre-calculus teacher. And in this video, we would be discussing some examples for the lesson on arithmetic and geometric sequence and series. Ayan, simulan na po natin, mga kaibigan. First item. Find the tenth term in the sequence 9, 24, 29, 34. Diba? Parang loto lang, no? Uh -oh. uh, ayan. Uh, um, magbibigay ako ng tips. Tips. First, you have to identify whether it's a sequence or a series. And then after that, identify whether it's arithmetic or geometric. Or, phone trip mo naman, una mong identify kung arithmetic or geometric and then identify whether it's a sequence or a series. It depends upon the problem that is given to you. And in this case, it's already stated that it is a sequence. So, no-brainer. You already know that it's a sequence. Next is to identify whether it's arithmetic or geometric. Let's see. Yeah. To be able to identify that, let's observe our given. We have 19 followed by 24, 29, 34. Oh, what do you notice? Are we adding something to each term? Or are we multiplying something to each term? Okay, tatali nung bata. We are adding 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 to be able to obtain the next term. So, given that we are adding, when we are adding, that means we would be using arithmetic. Uh, it's arithmetic. It's an arithmetic sequence. And it asks us to find the 10th term. So, arithmetic, sequence. Therefore, which formula will we use? Oh, go. Perfect. Ito ang gagamitin natin. Alright. Oh, let's use that. Let's um, identify the given. So, we could use the formula. Oh, yun yung gagamitin natin ha. A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Yes. So, we are looking for the a, uh, for a sub n, in this case, it's the 10th term. So, we have, we're looking for a sub 10, the 10th term. A sub 1 is your first term, and your first term here is 19. Um, let's substitute that so you wouldn't get lost. So, a sub 1 is 19. Let's put that there. Plus, n minus 1. N is uh, the number of terms or kung pang ilan siyang term. Oh, in this case, 10th term daw. So, N is 10. 10 minus 1. And D is the common difference. Common difference. We identified that a while ago, which is 5. Then, we simplify. 19 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 times 5. So, we have... 19 plus 45, and we have 5, 4, group 1, 64. A sub 10 is 64, and ladies and gentlemen, this is now our answer for this. Mom, pwede mo mag Yes naman, pwede. Kaso, syempre, we exercise our brains as well. Kulang na nga tayo ng exercise sa katawan. Kulang pa ba ng exercise ang brain natin? O, di ba? Okay, so that's it for our first example. Kamata sulit yung five. Let's move on to the next example. Let's. I never made it, but I know I did take 